Hi everyone, Darren Eastman here, Product Manager for GitLab Luna. Today we'll just do a quick overview of an MVC solution that we're coming out with in the next release that automates the aims to automate the slip and the installation of GitLab Runner, specifically in this example on a Google Compute Engine virtual machine running Ubuntu Linux. I know that's very specific, but this is really part of our longer term strategy to simplify the setup and management of runners for self-managed users. The idea is that if you're a self-managed user, we want to en en enable you to get to a green build and get that CI as quickly as possible. And as you can see by the matrix here on the screen, we support a plethora of operating systems, architectures, continuing orchestration platforms. And so the questions that we're working on in this epic um, here is how do we simplify that setup and installation process? How do we simplify the management process? For teams that are self-managing GitLab and GitLab runners. Um, so for the day speed run, uh, as I mentioned before, we'll just do a quick review of that new solution that we're working on. And what we've been working on is basically creating a Docker image um, pattern that will perform the automated provisioning of the virtual machine on the compute along with the runner and register that web runner into your GitLab project. As you can see here on the screen, the Docker command, Docker run command is pretty straightforward. You'll be specifying the registry to gitlab.com and the actual image um, for the self self host installation script. And then the only other uh, um, parameters you need to include would be the GitLab URL, the registration token, your GC product, project ID, and GC um, so on. So I've got a few of these things already done. So in my case, I'm just going to enter the, enter the command just to give you an idea of what happens. Let's just take a few seconds to, to get going. And it's going to ask me to follow this link. Don't get my authentication code. Let's go, let's do that really fast. I'm going to use this account. I'll allow it. And then copy the authentication code. And now at this point, I'll enter the authentication code here. Then it'll give me a warning or two depending on how things are set up on the account. And then things will start going here on the Google side. So what that will do, and um, yes, I just want to enter yes and um, go back to that. And what that will do on the Google side, it will actually create the environment for you on a new Google Compute Cloud um, account. And then in your project in GitLab, it would automatically register. You can see here in my particular instance, um, again, um, after running that script, it automatically created um, my runner virtual machine. And then over here, it automatically registered a runner in my GitLab project. Um, for this MVC, the runner that we are um, the runner that we are registering or creating on the Google Compute Engine virtual machine, we'll be using a shell executor. Uh, and then we have some additional plans to continue to iterate on, on this functionality. And then long term, we want to um, enable you to actually execute that automation directly from within the GitLab UI. So that's it for this month's um, speed run. Um, looking forward to, to covering new exciting features in GitLab Runner in upcoming videos. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.